hello welcome back to my channel it is Amanda I my hair looks absurd I, I didn't wash it today I don't understand how people do anything with their hair when they don't wash it but I have to film today today I have the Orly I was just I always sit cross-legged in my chair and so I was just pulling my my feet up today I have the Orly summer 2022 collection this is called pop Super cute. I got this in the Orly color pass, so I did get the two extras. If you are curious, the extras this month are a dual-ended dotting tool. Okay. Oh, please don't fall. Work on your core strength. Okay. Very fine dotting tool. And then a slightly larger dotting tool here. I don't have a dotting tool this small. I actually don't know if I still even have dotting tools. So I'm excited for this. I clearly don't do a lot of nail art, but um, you know, a dotting tool is nice. You can of course use a toothpick, bobby pin, whatever, but it seems to have an actual tool for it. Then the other extra is a polish that is exclusive to Color Pass. So this is called Don't Be Square and it is yellow triangles and a clear base. I did put this over several of the polishes in the collection, so I will insert those pictures but you, you can't buy this so that's kind of a tease all right so we are going by my awful descriptions because this is, isn't on the orly website yet let's get to them get excited first is called just an illusion and this is a glitter it, it can be a glitter topper i did build it up in three coats but you can still totally see my nails <laughs> through this my nails are very very stained uh they're Still recovering from March's olive green extravaganza, <laughs> so my nails are very stained. You can definitely see that through three coats of this. It's meant to be a topper. However, it still is very pretty in three coats. It's a, a slightly tinted base. It looks like gold and champagne and silver micro, micro glitters. Micro glitters. Very sparkly. You can, of course, wear this over a lot of things. It's three coats of Just an Illusion. Next polish is called Claim to Fame, and this is a bright, sunny yellow. And I was fully expecting three coats for this, but this looked really good in two coats. I was very surprised, because yellow is a three coat polish pretty much all the time. That's pretty typical. This had a great formula. It was not thick or thin, but it was, you know, it was a little streaky on the first coat, but it built up beautiful. I can't stop looking at how stupid my hair looks. I need a haircut so bad. It built up so nice on the second coat, and I was looking and looking, and I thought, I can't see my nail line through this, and it looks even. This is two coats, so two coats of claim to fame. The next polish is called Connect the Dots. This is a coral pink, kind of like a, it's kind of a curly formula. It's like a little bit squishy, but it's opaque in two coats. So, so keep that in mind. This one, because it is kind of a neon, it does dry a little bit matte, so you want a shiny top coat to make it glossy. <laughs> but again, it covers new coats. The formula is beautiful. So it's two coats of Connect the Dots. The next polish is called Don't Pop My Balloon, and this is the only polish other than Just an Illusion that has any sort of sheen to it, other than cream. It's not really a shimmer, I always call this like a pearly finish because there's a shimmer to this that's not, oh my gosh, look at that shimmer, but you can tell that there's something on the nails that makes it look kind of glowy and just adds some interest to the color versus a straight up cream polish. This one also covered in two coats. Uh, this is a really pretty fuchsia pink, and I like the like the pearly finish. Not frosty, like a pearly finish. The next polish is called Crash the Party, and this is a bright blue cream. You know, there's nothing really special about this color, but I always love it, and it covers in two coats. There's nothing like spectacular about this color but I I truly love it because it's blue and I love blue and that is crash my party crash the party not my party 
The last polish is called Rinse and Repeat, and this is a bright uh, purple cream. It's almost a neon, like it's probably like a pretty close to a neon purple without being neon. It's still very vibrant. Again, covers in two coats. I was honestly shocked that I didn't need three coats for any of these polishes. The formulas were so nice. They applied evenly. They leveled really well. I was very surprised. I don't know why. I love Orly. I, and I talk about this every time I do an Orly video. I think Orly is an underrated mainstream brand. And I just, I really, really enjoy their collections. And this one was not a surprise because I, I almost always love the Orly Summer collections. But uh, I don't know. I just thought that I would need three coats for any of these, which wouldn't have made me dislike any of these polishes. I don't really think three coats is that big of a deal but two coats is even better. So it's rinse and repeat. I don't really get the name for that with this like party theme. As I mentioned, I received this in the Orly Color Pass, which I pay for. I think probably at the beginning of May, this will probably be on the Orly website. So you should see it in a couple days. Let me know if you, what do you think of this color story? I like it. Uh, I, it's vibrant, but it's not neon. So I think that will appeal to people who don't love neons, but still want like a bright polish. I think it's really pretty. So let me know what polish is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you in my next video.